an autograph John Greenleaf Whittier I write my name as one, on sands by waves a wee run or winter s frosted pane, traces a record vein. Oblivion s blankness claims wiser and better names, and well my own may pass as from the strand or glass. Wash on, O oh waves of time. Melt, noons, the frosty rim. Welcome the shadow vast, the silence that shall last. When I and all who know and love me vanish so, what harm to them or me will the lost memory be? If any words of mine, through right of life divine, remain, what matters at whose hand the message writ? Why should the crowner s quest sit on my worst or best? Why should the showman claim the poor ghost of my name? Yet, as one dies a sound its spectre lingers round, haply my spent life will leave some faint echo still. A whisper giving breath of praise or blame to death, soothing or saddening such as loved the living much. Therefore with yearnings vain and fond I still would fain a kindly judgment seek, a tender thought bespeak. And, while my words are read, let this at least be said whate'er his life as de features, he loved his fellow creatures. If, of the law s stone table, to hold he scarce was able the first great precept fast, he kept for man the last. Through mortal lapse and dullness what lacks the eternal fullness, if still our weakness can love him in loving men? Age brought him no despairing of the world as future faring. In human nature still he found more good than ill. To all who dumbly suffered, his tongue and pen he offered. His life was not his own, nor lived for self alone. Hater of din and riot he lived in days unkiet. And, lover of all beauty, trod the hard ways of duty. He meant no wrong to any he sought the good of many, yet knew both sin and folly, may God forgive him wholly.